Hello and welcome to DTWG the Prep Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to find the volume of a right or it's sometimes it's called triangular prism or a right prism. Okay, that's what's called sometimes. Okay, when is a right prism? It has it means the it, the base is a is a is a right angle. A triangular prism just means you know it's just a triangle, okay? Not necessarily a right angle triangle, okay? So that's the difference in case you see it um different, like it's still the same, okay? It's still a triangle, all right. So let's look at how to find this now. The formula to find the volume of a right prism from your GED formula sheet, which I will leave the link to the formula sheet, okay, is volume is equal to B times H. Why the big B? The big B meaning the base area. Okay, you're going to see that it's a big B, 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 not a small B. Okay, when you see in your formula a big B and a small B, they are different. Okay, so this big B means base area. Why the smaller B just means the base of a triangle. Okay, now the big B meaning base area means the area of the base. Now for a prism like this, a right prism, the area of the base is this two, the top part, okay, uh, which is a triangle. So we have to find the area of this triangle here and this is a right uh, angle triangle. And the formula to find the area of a triangle is what half base times what height, okay. And here our base from this triangle, this is our base, and our height is here. If you don't know the uh, formula to find the area of the triangle, please do check our previous video. I must have done a video on uh, triangle before uploading this, okay? On how to identify your base and your height. All right, so this is the height, which is always a, a, a right angle. So it's, it's, it forms a right angle to the base. So this is the base. So from here we have half times our base is six, then times eight. Eight is uh, our height, that's eight. So this will cancel this. We have three, that's two would go in six, three times, and three times eight is what, 24. So we've gotten the base, okay? Now, what is H? H is simply the length of the prism, okay? So this is the prism. This is the length of the prism, all right? This length which is equal on all sides okay of the prism three sides okay so here is 12 here is 12 and here is also 12 centimeter all right so that is h so finally so finally we can come back to this formula and we have our big b which is 24 then our height is what 12 so 24 times 12 let me clear this part okay so what is 24 times 12 24 times 12 if we punch in our calculator, we're going to get 288 centimeter cube, okay? Because, you know, we're looking for the volume and our unit of measurement is centimeter, so centimeter cube or cubic centimeter, okay? So this is the answer. So this is our answer. So sorry about the noise from my kids, please. Uh, so this is our answer. And uh, don't forget to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. To get the formula sheet, um, it's on our website. I'll leave all the links, okay? Link to our summary notes, our study guides, free practice question, and also link to join our Facebook group, over 15,000 members in the community, you know, to ask of the GED in your states, be it Arizona, New York, okay? you a community to support you with all the necessary information, resources you need, and also motivation, all right? And don't forget, finally, that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life, and is the one who is going to lead us to heaven at last. All right? Thank you, and you are destined to win, even in your GED tests and in life. Take care.